Our first speaker this evening is Robert Bogue. Rob is a father, husband, community leader, and servant with over a dozen years in business. A passionate learner and educator, Robert has editor credit on over 100 books, author credit on 25 books, and numerous courses. Robert is also a recovering technologist with 14 years as a Microsoft MVP. He reads and reviews a book each week on non-technical topics, distilling the wisdom of many into a set of uh, discovered truths. You can find his discovered truths at discoveredtruths.com. Robert, um, Robert does project teaching uh, all of his clients in the organization, uh, key interpersonal skills through short, engaging videos. We had a great conversation beforehand um, about a couple of new things he's got. So they're delivered each week to every employee. You can follow Robert on his blog at thorprojects.com slash blog. Help me welcome up Robert Bogue. All right. So I'm going to tell you a quick story. And the story is, as all stories should start, in the dark of the night, in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. And it is about a conversation that started. My wife was looking at her email because there's nothing else to do in the middle of Pennsylvania. And she saw that there was a child who had vomited on their IV dressing, which is protecting the dressing. And the mom and dad had wiped it off. They were trying to be helpful. They were trying to say, you know what? We want our child to be safe. The problem is that the nurse found out that the child had developed a bloodstream infection. They got really sick because when the parents wiped off the dressing, they didn't get all the bacteria. But I need to take a step back and tell you how big a problem this is. So imagine every single day a Boeing 737 falling out of the sky. That's the number of people that die each day of a healthcare associated infection. Now, our, the kid in our story didn't die, so you don't have to worry about that. But this is a big problem. If there was an airplane falling out of the sky every single day, well, people might get concerned. So, healthcare associated infections, what are they? Well, there's a whole bunch of them, but the one that we're going to focus on is this one in the center called CLAPSI, Central Line Associated Bloodstream Infection. And these infections get people very, very sick. So, if you have an IV, the dressing that goes over it is there to protect it. And if you were listening and trying to figure out, well, what does this mean? Well, the CDC says that every one of these dressings needs to be clean, dry, and intact. And in fact, clean and intact are relatively easy to figure out, right? Like you can tell if something's dirty. We all have eyes. And intact is not that hard. You've got to do a little bit of work, but it's certainly catchable. But, but wait a minute. There's this thing in the middle. It's dry. It needs to be dry. Well, that's hard. See, Wetness is hard to assess in a dressing because a lot of the liquids are clear. You have saline solution, clear. You've got bodily fluids that are clear, on and on and on. And the provider always has gloves on, or at least they always should have gloves on. You're not supposed to make direct contact. And if you can't make direct contact, you can't figure out if something's wet. So you said, well, wait, 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 what can we do about this problem? And the conversation went through all sorts of really interesting things. You guys are all going to learn something tonight, and that is... Dog vomit fluoresces. So if you hit it with a black light, it'll fluoresce, as does scorpion urine. So the next time you're with a scorpion and it pees, go grab your black light. All right, so what did we do? We figured out that it would be really super fun and easy to take a dressing and have it change color when it got wet. What you're looking at is the same dressing, three different shots, the one in the back Nothing has changed. It starts blue. The second one, there's a single drop of water on it. Just one little drop of water. And the third one, you see where the water was, it is now white. And that's what this dressing does. And you say, well, this is super easy and simple. And it is. It's easy to assess from across the room. It is patient and patient family and provider readable. So now, where are we in this journey for this dressing that we have and we can show you? Well, we applied for the patent in November of 2015. 
the examiner got to it around March. We got notified about May. We responded in May because we're really anxious to get this out. And it's 35 months in the waiting. Sometimes our work is waiting. Great job. Don't delay. Get your ticket for the next Sparks event today.